What's up, Classroom Champions? What's up, YouTubers, Instagram, family, friends? What's good with you guys? Hey, check this out. Wanted to talk about a message um, as we're going through this time as shelter in place, you guys. One thing that I wanted to tell you guys, um, as you guys may see, I may post connection, communication, some positive things. Um, and, I, and if you guys need to reach out to me, always reach out to me. But I wanted to talk to my classroom champions specifically, but I wanted to include everyone else on this as we're going through this time about goals, you guys. We talked about goals. We talked about things, uh, how to set goals, like long-term goals, short-term goals. Um, we talked about community, you guys. We talked about perseverance, you guys. We talked about uh, many other topics, you guys, and showed you guys what I do so you guys will see that. But one thing that I wanted to get into real quick is uh, visualization, you guys. So for me, I visualize what I do on the track um, very often every day, especially when it gets close to championship time so that I can know what I have been practicing, know what I've been doing. So that when I get out there and I perform, you guys, I can do my very best. So sometimes I set a time, eight o'clock, uh, you know, that's when I meditate on, you know, um, my race or me long jumping, you guys. And during this time um, as shelter in place with COVID-19, you guys, I still have to visualize they moved Tokyo 2020 um, to Tokyo 2021. So one thing that I'm going to be working on is visualizing my races throughout this time because I don't want to lose the thought in my races, the thought in my practice and anything else, my dreams, my hopes, uh, the things that I'm hoping to achieve you guys as my goals. I want to visualize that whether it's one once a week, once a day, once a month, you guys, whatever it may be. So one important thing, you don't have to overdo your visualization. It can be something small. You can sit there, close your eyes and just focus on what that thing may be and how you will get there. So in my visualization for racing, you guys, one thing is, is each hundred meters that's how i visualize it each block what i need to be doing during that time so i go through it maybe about a minute or two maybe do it three or four times and i visualize my race pattern get out first hundred meters for for the first 60 then i start to relax but still going with my speed you guys then when i'm on the back stretch of the hundred meters i'm continuing staying relaxed but keeping that same pace that i just exploded out the blocks with you guys exploded out the blocks then when i get up to the 200 meters 200 to 300 i try to hold on the speed that i already had but then start preparing my mind to kick you guys i start preparing my mind that i gotta go as hard as possible as we know in life as the race in life sometimes can get challenging so for me that when i'm coming up on 280 meters to go you guys one thing that i am doing is i already prepare my mind that this is going to hurt that this is going to be painful so i already know that i gotta go because i'm running my race you guys so check it out that last 100 i'm hitting it hard running as hard as I can, yelling, putting everything, all the energy out that I can into my race, whatever I need to do to get to that finish line and hopefully I'll come with the win. So that's a piece of my visualization I wanted to share with you guys during this time that I will be doing during this time in shelter in place to keep me motivated for Tokyo 2021 and any other visualizations that's what I'll do. Long jump, same thing. Goals, whatever it may be, you guys. So set those goals. Be positive. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time.